Hopping the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, covered at the trap mail, murderous assassins, a rap in a black. Yo guys, what is going on Tim Pursue and welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video I'll be teaching you guys how to make a really cool animation that pops up on your screen and it says subscribe or whatever you guys want it to say, it might say hit the like button um, or some social media, something like that. So I'll show you guys how to make the actual text and then how to animate it uh, in Premiere Pro. That's what I'm going to be doing it in, but you can probably do it in other softwares as well. There's probably other ways to do it, but I'll be doing it in Premiere Pro. So yeah, um, there will be a template as well down below in the description if we break 100 likes, guys. So yeah, make sure you hit the like button down below. Uh, subscribe if you are new, share the video about, let me know what video you'd like to see from me next and yeah let's get straight on to the tutorial right guys so we are here in photoshop so what you want to do is open up a 1280 by 720 document like so because that's the size of like the video screen so uh don't know why this box is still here okay so what you want to do first is go to the text tool like so and we're gonna well you, this is where you type whatever you want to type in so I'll just put subscribe and the font I'm gonna use you need to use a bold font so I'm gonna go with Arial and I'm gonna make it black so like that's basically the boldest it can be and you also want to choose a color and I'm gonna go with a light green color we're making like a glitch effect and it looks really good in green so yeah I'm just gonna uh, bring down the space in a bit um, just by bringing this across if you don't have this character little option here just go to window and then character and then this button right here like changes the space in between the text um, so I'm just gonna put that right in the middle and you want to make it as big as you want it to be so and position it as well where you want it to be on the screen so imagine this is a screen right here you might want it to pop up down at the bottom I'm just gonna put it right in the center like so and the next thing I'm gonna do is just rasterize it press ctrl J filter and then go to pixelate color half tone and then put select 8 and then I'm just gonna check the different layer styles. So overlay looks quite nice. I'm just gonna bring it down. And just it's just a little effect to put over the top, so it's not as boring. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is press Control J. I'm gonna add like a 3D effect to it. So bring off green and blue, and with the right arrow key, move it to the right. Uh, a few times and then press ctrl J and do the exact same but for green and move it to the left and then press ctrl J and do the same thing but for blue and move it up twice and you can get a really cool effect so I'm just going to press ctrl E and merge them all to actually no never mind ctrl G and then delete the background and then that's basically it. You can do more stuff if you want, but I just want to try and speed up the process. It's more about animating it. Um, but yeah, this is the text that we've got right here. And I'm just going to export it, save for web. And just save it wherever you want. So, uh, text. Um, and then what you want to do is go over to your editing software. So I'm just going to go over to Premiere Pro, uh, new project. and uh, just press OK. Oh, just change the title of it to whatever you want. So I'm just gonna put text animation. It's like a glitch effect and it looks really cool. So once we are in Premiere Pro, what you wanna do is we need to create a background. So what you would have here already is like your video. So. I don't have a video so I'm just going to add a black background like so drag that in so now I've got a background we can work over the top and then what you want to do is go to file 
import and import your text. And I think I'm just going to use the text that I've already uh, made in the past because it's a little bit better. It's basically the same, so that's it right there. Um, and then what you want to do is go to effects at the top. Uh, there's different panels, there's ed the editing panel, but we want to go over to the effects panel where we can add the distortion or glitch effects to the text. So it's a bit slow right now. It just take time. Okay, then what you want to what you want to type in is warp. Wave warp will pop up down at the bottom here, and then drag it onto the text. I just need to bring this up. Drag it onto the text like so. And then what you want to do is go back to editing, and then click on the text, and then. If you press these arrows at the top here, then go to effects control, you can now start to edit it. Um, okay, so what you want to do is go down to wave warp, and these are all the different settings. So as you can see, you've got square, uh, you've got all these different um, options that make the text look distorted in different ways. So. I think square looks quite cool. Um, you can change wave height, so like how divided it's going to be. So I'm just going to start it off at zero and add a keyframe. I'm going to add a keyframe to every single one. Move it along a little bit and then increase the height. You can like mess about with this guys and just do whatever you want. And then if you bring it across a little bit, uh, add another keyframe, and then you might want to bring it down to zero so that nothing happens, it stops the glitch effect. And then once it stops you might want to add another glitch effect, so we could uh, maybe go to Sawtooth and try this. Um, and then move it along a little bit so where you want this new glitch effect to start and then increase it um, and also maybe the wave width try that and you can even change the direction also the speed um, and basically with glitch effects you just want to kind of make it look as weird as possible so that looks pretty cool uh, I'm gonna add a new keyframe and then move it along a little bit more and I could try semicircle here and we'll just see what we can do so it does that maybe we'll make this one quite quick so I'm not going to move along too far and then bring it back down to zero so if we have a look what we've done so far it literally it's just a proper glitch um, and yeah that's pretty much it, you just mess about, there's loads of different effects but you need to make sure you're adding keyframes where you want it to start and stop um, and yeah it also uh, looks really good when you have a sound effect in the background so you can find that on YouTube if you just type in glitch sound effects and put it in the background um, but that's pretty much it, you can add other stuff to it, you can add blurs um, you can add colour corrections to it but I think blur would look really cool um, so yeah once you've done with that I'm just going to remove the black background um, you've got this subscribe text all you, you, you will have to do now is just go to file export uh, and then save it as a video file like a quick time video file and then you're done so yeah that's pretty much it guys that was how to make an animated um, pop-up animation um, that says subscribe or whatever you guys want it to say if you want to see more tutorials like this on premiere pro let me know in the comments down below hit the like button subscribe if you are new let me know what videos you'd like to see from me next and i'll see you guys in the next video